Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Mm, a follow-up episode. More of something. More places to meet men. I did an episode, I don't know, a couple years ago actually with some... Well, actually, I don't know. That might have been part of another episode. So today I wanted to address some great ideas that I've heard about, I've thought about, I've talked about with friends and clients on great places when you're out and about not on the dating apps, not working with a matchmaker, just hanging out places, maybe with a friend, to go and meet some fellas, possibly. If that's at all interesting or intriguing, stick around. That's what's on the agenda today. I don't really know how to do this. It's like a list of places. I, do I have reasons for all of them? I don't know. Like, the first one is like Best Buy. Do you really need something at Best Buy, or are you just going to be loitering there? I guess maybe if you need a new cable to set up your TV or you decided you want to do surround sound. We're not purchasing CDs or like kind of hanging out listening to music in Best Buy anymore, but electronics and stuff, lots of guys in that store. So instead of ordering it on Amazon, if the price is the same and you don't have anything going on, head over to Best Buy. You might catch the eye of some handsome gentleman and you know how to talk to strangers. You've watched my other episodes. Start a conversation. Have a taste for a burger tonight? Head over to the sports bar if there's a game on even better. And you don't have to know everything about the game or even have a team you're rooting for, but it is better if you understand the game. Although this week we're watching the Olympics. Go hang out at a sports bar. Maybe you'll meet somebody super interesting who you'd like to spend more time with when there is no sports on the TV. Number three, the prepared food section at your grocery store. When people are coming from work and are hungry and have decided there's nothing at home of interest in the refrigerator, they don't feel like ordering in, they don't want that again, but they thought, eh, you know who makes a nice little handy dandy dinner when you don't feel like cooking? Whole Foods, <laughs> Mariano's, my grocery store, wherever that is for you. If there's a section where they have prepared stuff, they sell a chicken, they sell meatballs and spaghetti or chicken breasts already made with a pasta side, whatever that looks like for you. Lots of guys stop by there on the way home when they're not lovers of the cooking thing and don't want to order in. Check that out. Next up, Costco on a Saturday where they're tasting stuff. What an easy way to start a conversation. You can ask what his opinion is on these wontons. Or if he also thinks that these breaded mushrooms are a little too salty. <laughs> I'm stretching here trying to think about food, but you get the gist of it. Go hang out at Costco. Lots of people hang out on Costco for that reason. And single guys cannot be excluded from that group. You might meet somebody who is sick of Costco food for lunch and wants to take you out next Saturday for lunch. I have a lot of guy friends who are single and where do they go when they just want to go hang out with another guy friend maybe and it's not a sports bar, they're not a big sports guy. They go to the bar at the local steakhouse and I've heard of other guys, clients, who also do this as well. If you're heading out on a Friday night for a glass of wine with a girlfriend, the wine bar will be a great place for the two of you to connect and talk. But if you're also interested in possibly having a conversation with a gentleman who may be there by himself or with a friend, then I suggest you try instead the bar at a steakhouse. It's worth a shot if that's something that's coming up on your schedule, drinks out with a friend, try that. This is way, way too easy, but if a homeowner is something you admire, somebody who's taken that step and is responsible enough to pay a mortgage, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards on a Sunday, Saturday's okay too, but Sunday when they're doing home projects and they realize they missed one of the items that they needed or they can't find the screw that fell behind the bookshelf, and they have to run back out again. That's an awesome place to catch the eye of a charming stranger or start a conversation, ask a legitimate question, ask for an opinion, or just wink at them. I don't know, maybe it was like seven years ago, I was hired to work at a hunting and fishing expo at a 
hotel in my city and I was working a booth there and my gosh, it was just all men parading by all day long. Not sure if hunting or fishing or outdoorsman activities are your jam, but if you got nothing to do on a weekend that that, home, that show, that expo shows up in your area, you may want to grab a girlfriend and go walk around, grab something to eat, check out the booths, see what's going on in the outdoorsman, hunting, fishing, outdoor community, what's new, cool stuff they've got. I'm telling you, there's going to be lots and lots of men there. Maybe one and the universe sent him would be a shame if you weren't there also. And along that same idea, boating shows and auto shows, also a great place for guys. I don't want to be stereotyping anyone, but it would be silly if I pretended there weren't men at boat and auto shows. That's just crazy. They're there. Oh my gosh, during the week I had such a taste for sushi, I ordered it for pickup. But if I'd been looking for somebody to meet to perhaps begin a romance, I would have been silly to pick it up at the door. Instead, I should have been sitting at the sushi bar, especially at 7 o'clock during the week after work when people are again thinking I don't really want to cook dinner and I don't want to go to my grocery store to the prepared food section. I'm just going to grab my favorite sushi and sit at the bar, have a glass of sake or whatever, and uh, have some quiet time before heading home. What if sitting at that same sushi bar was you? Could be the beginning of something quite beautiful and sashimi for years and years of happiness. Are you athletic? Are you a runner? Do you do 5K runs or 10K or a Tough Mudder type thing? Those types of races are a great place to meet men who also share your interest. Cycling clubs are another one. I've got a lot of female clients who are in cycling clubs that are a mixed group of both men and women, married and single, but you can find a single man who's part of that group. Also, those races are done by everyone, very young people to the very elderly, and anybody who's fit and active and loves a challenge. So there's a definite possibility that you could meet somebody awesome there and tough mutter together or pass each other here all the way to the finish line. And then again, a lot of those 5K races are for charity, so it's like a win-win situation. Raise money for a good cause. Dick's Sporting Goods is close by near my house. I don't want to share any jokes with you about this one. I mentioned those sporting expos, but a lot of major cities, maybe one near you, has different conventions where the public is allowed to attend besides auto shows and boat shows something that's interesting to you i know i've got a client who met somebody at a comic-con convention there are different types of events that take place at mccormick place which is in chicago i've worked there numerous times for shows the housewares show i was been a part of for years it working at different booths thousands of people walking through there some looking to buy those products for their own business other people who are just bought a ticket because they're interested so check out what kind of shows are at your local convention center if it's something that interests you if it's a hobby of yours perhaps make sure that you get a ticket and show up bring a friend but be open to your surroundings see who's around you keep your eyes peeled and be sending off that positive energy that makes people want to approach you and you never know what could happen i hope you found this interesting and or helpful if you did please give the episode a thumbs up while you're there if you'd hit the subscribe button and the ring bell then you're notified every time a new episode goes live and i would love for you to come back again sometime appreciate you being here today and until that next time, have a good one.